So people came to me first time without knowing anything. With my call only they came to see me. They never come by themselves. I called them. So that's why I ke they came to see Amma. So they definitely they get the greatest benefit of peace, joy, happiness. And they relax so much like anything. And loneliness is the biggest curse for women. They're suffering so much with the abusings from the society, neighborhood. And uh, so many people eyes are on them. They're suffering so much. Wherever there is a, a respect for women, that is the most wealthiest country in the world. Every woman is like a Durga, Mahalakshmi, Mahasaraswati, Divine Mother. It doesn't matter any country, any continent. So we have to encourage the girls for good education. In some areas, some of the our women are saving even small money also, taking care of their kids and giving good education to them. They're working so hard. I love those kind of women so much. Yes, I am the guiding force of this total universe. <laughs> Including every individual in this total universe. Yes. <laughs> it is her smile, her love, that captures people first. Ama Sri Karunamai. For 20 years, she has been visiting from India to be with her followers in America. And for Sojourns, this is our seventh yearly interview with her in the U.S. Welcome to Sojourns. This interview was recorded in Pasadena, California on May 4th, 2015. Beloved Amma, increasingly there are people who are seeing your form, hearing your name, they know so little about you. What can you tell people who are brand new to Amashri Karunamai that would help them understand your purpose, your mission, being alive today? Uh, my sweet son, actually no necessary to know about me for them, but the benefit what they get, they don't know that. So much unrest in their hearts disappear. They came to the light, light, joy, fountain of joy, ananda. Definitely, if you go to sorrow, you will get sorrow. If you come to ananda, you will get ananda only. So people came to me first time without knowing anything. With my call only, they came to see me. They never come by themselves. I called them. So that's why I ke they came to see Amma. So they definitely, they get the greatest benefit of peace, joy, happiness, and they relax so much like anything. My guess is that many people don't even know it's a call from Amma. They just feel this thought, this urge that maybe they should go see Amma. But what you're saying is that's your call to them to come and be in your presence. Yes. So this world is not new for me. They are externally, they think I am new to them. But all this world is not new to me. This is my world. I love this world. I think this total world is my own family, my children, my beloved children. They are nothing but my flesh, my, my soul. So that's why I call them through my intuition. They came to see me without their knowledge. So that is my invitation to my beloved babies. Because you just said that, that this world is not new to me, to you, you very, very familiar with people's efforts to find ananda, to find bliss, equanimity, peace. Do you have some words of encouragement for those people who have been on the spiritual path? You're not new to them and they love you, but this notion of their true selves, self-realization, still eludes them and it discourages them because they work so hard to find out who they really are, free of distractions. What can you say to encourage them to stay with the program? This is a soul connection. It's not the connection of the external connection. When they came into the hall, they just sit in the chair and waiting to talk with me and when they came in front of me everybody remained with the tears 
They don't know why they are crying. I remove their tears with so much love and they open their hearts. It's not they are open their hearts. I open their hearts. Mm -hmm. I open their hearts. They felt so much joy, incredible happiness inside. It is extremely unbelievable, boundless bliss and happiness. They forget all their challenges, pains and sorrows and tears at that fraction of seconds. And then they relax so much, all the tears are gone, all the pain gone. They are very, very happy. They told mother, we relax so much, we are so happy. I was told by thousands and thousands of children all these years and uh, it's so natural, no? Natural. This is a soul connection. This is a heart connection. Uh, so that's why there is no words to explain about it. <laughs> this soul <coughs> connection that you speak of so correctly because it just immediately people understand it when you talk about it. Sometimes it's my impression that many people who are here in tears and they receive your love, then at the end of the day, they get in their car and they drive home and they lose it. How can people keep it? This is Maya. <laughs> <laughs> Maya is nothing but uh, always um, enveloping by Ines Minas, no? That's very natural. If all the, all the time uh, they are in Brahmananda, they cannot do their job and they cannot do anything. So they're just uh, testing a fraction of second that Brahmananda, that bliss and happiness. Again Maya comes and they have to go for their works and it's so natural in this world. The people who are able to overcome the Maya, the people you are talking about who make the soul connection and keep it, the people who find self-realization, are there many people on yes, this world today? Yes, who find there it? are so many people. And what is their purpose here? I would think that if they, once they re acquire self-realization, there's no further purpose for them to be on this earthly plane. Oh, there is a great purpose. They are the greatest insp inspirations to the lot of people in the society. They are like a pillars in the society and supporting this ruining society with the values. So that's why lot of people are very spiritual, matured people and lot of uh, spiritual realizations there in their hearts and those people are supported Amma's uh, work to uplift the society from these commotional levels and their greatest inspiration for bhakti and for selfless service and for love to all the people. Amma, as a journalist, I enjoy talking to a lot of people on the spiritual path. A very common refrain, a very common statement they make to me is that almost because they're on the spiritual path, the longer they're on the spiritual path, the more difficult life becomes for them when most people think it would become easier. Why is that? Because of their previous lifetimes of the spiritual cultivation was there, so it is so easier for them to understand, to experience the uh, right way, and immediately they're connected with the divine souls. And some people have, they need some more maturity, so that's why it will take time. <laughs> and what's more important, that people come and hear your message, learn your lessons, and practice your lessons, or is it more important for them just to abandon themselves, come and physically be in your presence to receive your love? What's, what's, what should people choose to do more than the other? So there is only two things, very simple, how, how Baba mentioned love and service. I mentioned the same things, love. I want to spread my love. I ask my kids also, you have to spread your love. Suppose you are not able to love everybody, you have to do some seva. Seva. Selfless service to others. Selfless service to others. So beautiful. Can you give us an idea for those people who may have tasted a little bit, or maybe even more than that, what self-realization feels like to a person? In self-realization, you are seeing yourself 
in all the living beings it doesn't matter not only the human beings even in the birds you are seeing yourself in all the animals in all creation everywhere any country any continent everywhere in the entire world wherever there is life you are seeing only yourself that is realization and is it something that comes quickly ama or is it sometimes something that comes very slowly it depends upon their previous uh, lifetime samskaras some people have this like jodi type yourself you have lot of previous good samskaras you realized in your lifetime in the beginning itself and you are spreading your love and seva to the mankind in this way and it will slow for some people and some people it their hearts are never open at all it take time for them and what's the most important path to follow selfless service seva as you mentioned uh or just doing your duty and trying to be loving in your heart definitely duty is very important duty is nothing but um, it is like a divine um it's a divine work everyone have their own duties they have to definitely do their duties and then spread their love and love the people around us today world is suffering without compassion without kindness in the society lot of unkind things are happened so definitely uh, who have love and kindness and compassion all of these attributes in their hearts they have to spread these in the society i think this is a very important question because many people i know will tell me they love you they love being in your presence and they feel your love but they tell me also that when they pray to you for guidance they're not sure if they're feeling that you've heard their prayer and they're not positive that they can see your guidance tetson <laughs> you are complaining with tetson i am guiding them tetson <laughs> even if they don't see it you're, you they can no necessary to see me no i am all pervading <laughs> because i think a lot of people find that this world increasingly becomes difficult for them painful for them even on a spiritual path which sounds counterintuitive it's almost like you would think i'm supposed to be happier not more challenged in my life but a lot of people tell me their challenges grow <laughs> in number and in size so you're saying they should be confident that you hear their plight and that you are guiding them yes i am the guiding force of this total universe <laughs> including every individual in this total universe yes <laughs> i think one question i wanted to touch on because we just mentioned it in passing a little bit is every year you always seem to focus the spotlight from amashri karunamai on e- equally important subjects And right now one of the big subjects is the welfare of women not just in America but all over the world. It sometimes seems daunting, almost impossible for others to be useful in overcoming this. What have you been able to share with others at the United Nations this year and and in women's groups as I know you participate that you can share now that would be a benefit to all of us? two decades onwards i was all this uh, is traveling all over the world in so many countries i have a lot of touch with my kids my children my girl children boys women i heard physically so many stories unbearable stories women is undergoing so much unrest in the entire world so i was really touched by that pain i want to uplift with all the women kind into peace they have to have more self confidence through their spiritual practices of course they have so much love and devotion trust towards god but sometimes they are little bit depressed by the situations around them that time they need more self confidence will power courage 
to face boldly the, all the problems and challenges, to pierce the mountains of the problems and comes out of the depression and commotions and they have to stand on their legs confidentially uh, with, with self-confidence and they mu must not worry about the uh, temporary situations. All of these are very transient, it is not permanent. Sometimes eclipse comes, it is not permanent, but sun is permanent, eclipse is very transient. You are the sun, you are not the eclipse. You must not cry for the eclipse. It it was uh, sometimes appears and disappears, but you have to have self confidence. This is all the time I inspired all my kids and but lot of challenges for the girls. 80, 80 to 75 percent of the girls are undergoing very bad abusings and commotions. Women was undergoing so many abusings and women trafficking and uh, people have gender basis um, discretions and lot of things uh, world is suffering. So, I am encouraging all my children so much they need this is the time they have to have more self confidence. So, you need not cry. Uh, for example, a uh, lot of women they live alone with their children without a man. But I never see a man without a woman to live in the world. He was not able to live alone. He always needs some support. So, women have to have this more self confidence to stand on their legs, to face the problem boldly, and they have to bring more courage to their kids and take care of the children and give their presentation to the world is great children. What is the wealth of the society or for a home? For a home, the good persons, good conduct persons and courageous persons are the wealth of a home. If people are all the time remaining in depression, crying, sadness, sadism, this kind of people we cannot say they are the wealth of a home. What is the wealth of a country or a continent? The wealth of a country is the good persons and the great persons, that people are the wealth of the country. We need more wealth to the countries, all countries. All countries need the wealth of good people, good conduct people, self confidence people, will power people, courageous people. We must not remain in depression, in commotion, unrest in the world. You have to pray, meditate, definitely you will get help. Shakti. Mm -hmm. Mother is Shakti, no? If you have thousand hands of Amma, why you are crying for pain and problem? You do not discourage yourself. Have always courageous heart. Proceed. Do not see back. We have to go forward. So, I encouraged my kids with a lot of courageous um, love and all those things. Definitely, women is very powerful. Yatra naryantu pujyante, tatra ramante devataha. Wherever there is a, a respect for women, that is the most wealthiest country in the world. So, women must not remain in tears, in sadness and depression. She is the source for the universe. Every woman is like a Durga, Mahalakshmi, Mahasaraswati, Divine Mother. It does not matter any country, any continent. So, we have to encourage the girls for good education. The education we need more in the world for the girls, for their self confidence and also financially they have to stand on their legs and then they have to decide when they have to marry all those things. So, girls are not uh, brides and also to sustain development programs we are doing, we are encouraging uh, the girls and all the women also, how to stand on their legs and how to earn some money and how to take care of their families. In some areas, some of the our women are saving even small money also, taking care of their kids and giving good education to them. They are working so hard. 
I love those kind of women so much. Some people have no problems. It is okay. I am not expecting problems for everybody. But some people have uh, so many problems. The main problem is um, uh, single mothers. They are suffering so much in the world. And loneliness is the biggest curse for women. They are suffering so much with the abusings from the society, neighborhood. And uh, so many people eyes are on them. They are suffering so much. This is the time they have to be very courageous and self-confidently. They have to stand on their legs and support. And they have to have this self-motivation to do good things um, for their life. So that's all these encouragements we are doing through some programs and vocational programs for girls and women. And all of these things we are encouraging all the world. Thank you. I have one final question. And before that, I want to ask Shalini to come up because she's had a question she wanted to make sure that was asked of you about the women's issues. But before, as she's coming up, what about men? I, I know it's very hard to take a magic wand and correct the problem that men bring to interpersonal relationships with women. But say a word about men, if you will. All men is not bad in the world. I, how can I say that? Uh, so, so many good people are there. So many good uh, people are supporting uh, the society, doing great, great things and everything. What we are talking about that, you know, uh, some billions of money people are uh, the earning through the human trafficking. We are concerned about that kind of uh, mm -hmm. pains, you no? Know? So, that is why I am talking about that kind of people. Not I am not. Uh, I have so many great uh, children, sages in the world, great great people, pure souls, and supported the women so much. And I am really appreciate my children. So many thousands of children for Amma. Uh, they are sages. I can say very pure souls and very divine people, doing so many great things and so many so uh, seva activities. Even here in this country, I have lot of organizers in every state, in every city. And how much incredible sevas uh, the boys are doing, I cannot um, say in words. Uh, so, they did great job and supporting all the Narayana seva, giving food to all the people, blood drive programs. All my boys are doing this, including with the girls. And also, medical programs and care. This is a very wonderful program. We are taking the care of the um, cancer patients. Uh, there is a organization, seed organization. We collaborate with that seed organization and helping all the people in the entire United States, all the states, not in one state, any state people can come to SMEA. They can get the help from the medical side and people who are suffering with the cancer problem, they can get the um, chemotherapy, radiation, medications and what all the things they need. SMA Trust is helping them. So, all these things are doing my, all my boys are doing this and I, I appreciate them. They are, they are very, very sweet and divine people. Thank you, Arma. Shalini has the last question. Namaste, Arma. Um, when you talk about the Mahayagna, uh, you talk about um, the Puja and all like more like Hindu ritual. Oh, well my understanding is that the Sanskrit language for the mantra is the language of God. It's the closest thing to, it's like the language of light. And though also, if, also when we do not understand and we are not, um, um, we are not proficient we don't know how to speak it, we don't know how to chant it. Just by listening to those vibrations, our subtle body, our soul, it just attuned to the light of God. And that it becomes like when all these events happen where hundreds of people chant those mantras, we open like a huge portal for the light of Divine Mother to come on the planet. Therefore, Anybody can come, any religion, any creed, any, anybody can come. And the more people we are, the more women are there, and the more the love, the divine love of Divine Mother is going to just 
<laughs> last, <laughs> the entire universe, the entire <laughs> earth, and help us to transform the pain of this earth. Is it true? And if so, please. Yes, yes it is true. Yes. Billion times, gazillion times, <laughs> it is true. So, Jody question is a beautiful question. A lot of uh, people have this question. Uh, so, Hindu gods and uh, Christian gods, Buddha gods, and only one god in the world, only one love, one heartbeat. Um, so, all of these years I never uh, touch these um, isms or anything. I just love. I spread my love all, only in the world. Uh, so that's why I have no friction with uh, any of uh, anyone in the world. Uh, in the religious parliament, when we have been in Australia, 2008, this is so beautiful. We met so many, all the religious leaders, no friction at all. Everybody was so lovely, so kind, so pure. Some people, minds are not that mature. So that's why they are thinking this is a differentism, this is something like that, and uh, all the questions there. If you more elevated, uh, then everything is only love, everything is only kindness, and world need more compassion. Uh, womankind is suffering with so much unrest and unkind things in the world. Uh, people have to give more love and compassion in the world. That's what I find all these years in the world. <laughs> love you, Jodi. Amma, just a second to say thank you, not just for Jodi and me, but also for soldiers, because this is year number seven, as I said, that we've had this great privilege to be in your presence and to share your wisdom and love. And I just checked before coming over here today to see that there are more than 80,000 people who have been following you on Soldiers, which really makes me feel like we can continue to share your love with people in all countries. Thank you for that, and thank you for this. And please bless us. I love you, my son. I love you, Judy Law, so much. You are my nothing but myself only. You are selfless kids. Uh, little soldiers, you are not soldiers, angels, very angels, great angels. I met so many angels, little soldiers, um, physically, uh, people came and appreciate me, uh, they love me. In some, there is no accessible to come to uh, see some other very interior places. Thousands and thousands of people are so fascinated towards this beautiful program. I really appreciate all of you. I love you so much like anything. Amma's um, unconditional love and special motherly affection and blessings to all of you. If you call me Ah, before say Ma, I will be with you. I give word to you. It's not uh, like a joke I'm speaking. Really, I'm going to do that. So definitely, I love you so much like anything. My little soldiers, my little angels, I love you. Thank you so much, uh, my Ted son. My Jody baby, I love you like anything. Amma's blessings for all the little soldiers through this beautiful program. I love you like anything. Thank you so much. Thank you, Amma. Jay Karuna Mai. Love you, son. Love you, Jody. There's a way to help people make that jump.